Kim from Black Room with Darwin Me Fresh Team. I'm one of the anti and postnatal instructors. I teach the legs bumming and baby at Whitton Park Arena on a Friday and the buggy buddy walks that go throughout the council. So the buggy buddy walk are led walks with an instructor that you can take your pram around. They're perfect for ladies from 8 to 12 weeks as long as you have had your 8 week check for a normal birth or a 12 weeks for a cesarean section. These exercises are perfect for you. So I'm just going to show you a few basic low level exercises that you can do whilst you're out on your walk. If you are a little bit uncomfortable doing them out on your walk, you can do them in your comfort of your own home. I'm going to show you a few of the exercises with a chair, but obviously if you're out walking with your pram, you can use your pram for these exercises. Like I've said, please make sure you have had your check, so eight weeks for normal or 12 weeks for a cesarean, just to make sure that everything is okay and you are safe to do these exercises today. I'm gonna to show you from the front, and then I will show you from the side as well. I'll tell you what areas we're working on and what we're working to achieve. Um, just make sure you've got a bottle of water and oh, enjoy wow. the first one that's really, really good. You can concentrate on your legs. I'm gonna do some squats. So keeping your knees directly above your ankles and you are pushing your bottom back behind. So we're just going into a nice squat. Going nice and deep. We are aiming to get your bottom as low down to the knees as we possibly can. However, depending on your own ability, you can take it to different levels. Holding onto your pram for support. The one thing I am just gonna make sure of, that your toes are pointing forward and everything is in line. So from the front, you've got your toes pointing forward. Imagine you've got straight lines going down from your hips to your knees to your toes. So you can see there are total straight line. And all you're gonna do is push your bottom backwards Drop it into a squat position and stand up. So again, dropping it down to a squat position and standing up. So again, from the side, your knees are directly above your ankles. We're not pushing them forward. You're pushing your bottom back and lifting them back up. Perfect to do whilst you're out on a walk. Really, really good for your bottom. Another one you can do for your legs, which is really, really good, is a lunge. Okay, so for this one, again, you can do it holding onto your pram. If you take a big step back with one leg, keep your toes on the floor. Again, keep them hips pointing forward. And what we're aiming for here is bend both knees and just dropping that knee down as low to the floor as feels comfortable. Again, just concentrating on keeping them hips facing forward and your shoulders pointing up. Nice straight back so we're not leaning. So hands onto your hips or onto your pram for support. It's totally up to you. Depends where you feel more comfortable. Make sure you do do both sides. So dropping down and lifting up. So just from the front with that one, I'm gonna take a big step forward, drop down and back up. You can do it from alternate sides or you could do a few on one side and then a few on the other, depending on what works better for yourselves. So the next one I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some bum kicks. Okay, so hold on to your pram for support, slight bending your knees and we're just gonna lift one leg at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so we've got the support and we have got that bent leg for a little bit of extra support. We're gonna push that leg behind and then bring it back towards, making sure your hips do stay pointing forward and your shoulders are pointing up. So we're kicking back and we're bringing it forward. We are only bringing it towards that knee, so I don't need to bring it any further forward. We're literally just pushing back and bringing towards. This is one of the exercises where I do tend to say less is more than this. So the less we move, the more it actually does tone and sculpt. So from the front, slight bend in your knees, lifting it up at a 90 degree angle. You're just going to push back and bring forward. Push back and bring forward. Don't bring them knees any further forward than that other knee. Nice and together. And repeat on the opposite side. So this next one is another one of them exercises where I say the less movement, the more it tones. So you're just gonna bring it up into the same position as the bum kick, and we're gonna take it out to the side for about a 45 degree angle and bring it back in. Any further, and your hip will start to rotate and we'll lose them headlights that them hips keep in front and forward. So again, just 45 degree angle and bringing it back towards. So from the side, again, holding on for support, slight bend in your knees, lift up the leg at 90 degree angle, and we're just taking it out, keeping them hips facing forward, to about 45 degree angle and bring it all the way back in. Really, really good for your outer thighs. 
So the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do some press ups for your arms. Now I don't recommend using your pram for this one, even with the brakes on. So do try this one at home, or if you can find a wall while whilst out on your walk. So I'm going to show you this one onto the wall. So nice big support at the bottom, so a nice wide stance. You're going to put your hands spread out on the wall, nice and wide, and we're lowering our upper body down all the way, as close to the wall as we can get. We are trying to keep your shoulders in line with them elbows and we are trying to keep a nice straight spine. So we're not just bending from the top, we're leaning all the way forward and pushing back up. So again, do try that one on the wall or on the floor. If you are trying it on the floor when you're at home, do get yourself into an all four position. Hands out nice and wide. And again, we're just looking that your elbow just stay directly above your wrist and your shoulders are in line with your elbow as well. This one I'm going to talk you through now is one you should be doing in everyday life. So it's a daily living activity, so you don't need to be setting any special time for it. We should be doing it quite often, especially in this postnatal session. If you haven't been to any of our antenatal sessions, um, it might need to take a little bit of explanation. We're going to work on your pelvic floor. So, We've got three sections to our pelvic floor. We've got the front, the middle, and the back. Now, I work on a visual basis, so I want you to think of a lift. I want you to think of the sides, and I want you to close the lift doors, working on the front, middle, and back together as a three, and release. So that is tightening your pelvic floor muscles. So close the door, and release. And again, just close the door, and release. Nobody can see you doing this. You can do this at a traffic light. You can do this when you're having your, making a brew. You can do this when you're having your tea, watching your soap on telly. When you feel a little bit more comfortable with this, you could maybe isolate between the three. Um, depending on how your labour were and depending on what stage you are at, um, you might find some are trickier than the others. Um, we all suffer from pelvic floor issues after having, having uh, our little people, so please don't worry. Just concentrate on closing that lift, not letting anybody else out of that lift, and release. That in turn will work all three. 